What's going on guys, Rob at Three Strong here. In a lot of my previous videos and more recently, um, I've given you circuits, body weight circuits, some, some dumbbell circuits, things that will increase your muscular endurance but also your cardiovascular endurance. And really that's just one section of fitness. It's not, it's not the full picture. And honestly, as a, as a coach, it wouldn't be appropriate for me to just focus on one aspect of fitness. So I want to lay out the big picture for you. So depending on what your goals are, that you can kind of hone in on this sweet spot that is, allow, that, that is gonna allow you to go into your workouts with the right mindset, be confident in your workouts because now you know that you're not, you're not missing the mark. Um, because not everyone wants to go the super boot camp endurance route and other people don't want to go the power lifter lifting heavy weights route. So no matter where you are, you at least have this range of things that you know how to do. Because I don't believe in do one thing, work on that, and that's the only way to get that, that result. Okay, You don't have to uh, you know, lift a bunch of weights and, and do all the stuff to get strong and you don't necessarily you know, you can, you can bulk up doing lightweights, you can bulk up lifting heavyweights, okay? Anyway, let me get into it. So, this is actually going to be a three-part series, which is going to um, cover the next few days. But first, I'm just going to introduce this concept and then go into a little bit more detail. So, this, I'm sure you've seen this in what, very early on in my videos. This essentially is the repetition continuum. You've probably heard this. So at one end of the spectrum, you have 100% of your max. So say let's take a movement such as a squat. And you can squat however much weight, whatever your one rep max is. The most weight you can enter for one rep, that is your 100%. You can't go over that. And, but as you lighten the weight, you're allowed to do, you're able to do more and more reps. And as the weight gets lighter and lighter, you can do more and more reps and that stretches out into the endurance end of the spectrum. We have strength at the high end, maximal strength, and then we have endurance on the, on the far end. And in between, we have this spectrum here that as the weight gets lighter, we can actually move it a little bit faster and that's gonna help us develop power. And then we have, you know, kind of the higher volume, this middle ground, you know, eight to 10, maybe 12 reps, which is really gonna help produce uh, muscle bulk, hypertrophy, and then, of course, at the far end of the spectrum. However, these aren't, um, uh, these aren't the only ways to develop strength. So you're not going to always go in and lift your one rep max. And, uh, you know, and you have to do one to two reps or else you're not, not going to get strong and increase your maximal strength. You're not going to get powerful unless you do this. You're not going to get bulky unless you do this. Your endurance only increases like this. What, what I'm going to show you is that actually regardless of whoever is, is training under this, so if we just look at elite athletes, elite power lifters are actually working within a range. They have three different days, three different types of workouts that they do. On the endurance end of the spectrum, the same thing. They have three different types of workouts that they do. And it's, and it's fascinating that across the board, whether you want to develop strength or endurance, there's, uh, they, they follow this, this same concept of they have a very heavy day, they have a medium intensity day, and then they have a lower in intensity, higher volume day. So it follows this kind of high, medium, low pattern. And that is what I'm going to show you that regardless of where you are on the, on the spectrum and what you want to develop, following that kind of ladder approach, which is called periodization, you're going to periodize, you're, you're going through periods of different types of work to challenge your system in a new way, okay? I'm going to uh, explain those concepts in future videos, but this is just the uh, basic outline, okay guys? I'll see you tomorrow.